in his manifesto uh, in the uh, when he was talking about all the oil sector he did say that he would stop all at uh, the few uh, subsidies he also did mention about oil production increasing oil production to about 2.6 million barrels per day i think for 2026 if i'm not mistaken joaquin I, I see i see that you are smiling i hope i got that right so many numbers you you know what i'm talking about we're in this business together so a lot of numbers will be in your in your brain he said 2.6 million mm -hmm. barrels per day by 2027 then i think about uh, 4 million barrels per day by 20 at 30. We've also mentioned here that all theft was a bit silent uh, in that uh, document. Do you see Tunubu, when he's been sworn in in a few days' time, saving Nigeria from the fuel subsidy, the almighty fuel subsidy that we've been talking about now for many years? Yes. Thank you, Nancy. And I think that the fuel subsidy is very much the elephant in the room. Uh, you may recall about two weeks ago, is it two or three weeks ago, um, the Edo State Governor, um, the Edo State Governor, Gordon Obaseki, said that uh, Nigerian states may be unable to, to pay salaries. salaries as early as June if the fuel subsidy is not removed. So we know that the governors are against the continued fuel subsidy. We also know that not just Tinubu himself, but people around him have also said that they favor the removal of fuel subsidy. So I think that one of the first things that we should look out for in the first 100 days of the Tinubu administration should be a removal of fuel subsidy. If this is not possible, then I think that um, it will be uh, a bit of a black mark uh, on them because it will be very interesting to see how long this train uh, you know, can continue to carry on. 